God Hates a Lying Tongue by Amanda Eidelman, read by Ellie Johnson. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Truth is a central part of the Christian faith. We are to be truth seekers, truth tellers, and truth believers. As Christ followers, we are called to follow Jesus, who is described as the way, truth, and the life, John 14, 6. Truth is central to our quest to follow and honor God. The enemy of our souls is described as the father of lies, John 8, 44. The devil pulls us away from Jesus by distorting our realities in order to steal, kill, and destroy from our lives. When our lives are stuck in the mire of falsehoods, we cannot experience all of who God is. We need the truth of the gospel at work in our lives to live as free people. Freedom and the piercing power of God's truth go hand in hand. If truth is a fundamental part of who God is, it follows that lying is naturally something that he is against. God desires us to see the world clearly. He does not want us to get ensnared by wrong thinking and the brokenness that comes when falsehoods enter our relationships. The Bible uses strong language around God's stance on lying. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19 says, There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. The Bible leaves very little wiggle room to debate on how God feels about lying. The language of Proverbs is black and white. God hates a lying tongue. God's word goes even further to emphasize how lying is something that God is against. Psalm 101.7 adds, No one who practices deceit shall dwell in my house. No one who utters lies shall continue before my eyes. Deceit keeps us from being a part of God's house. Honest living is central to being part of God's eternal family. Ultimately, truth is so important because God cares most about the state of our hearts. If we are willing to deceive for our own gain, we know that our hearts are sick. Matthew 15, 18 through 20 says, But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. For out of the heart comes evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person. But to eat with unwashed hands does not defile anyone. God wants to set us free from the evil that keeps us chained up so we can live free lives. Freedom is found when we live with integrity. This occurs when our insides and our outsides match. While God offers His abundant grace and forgiveness for all our missteps, that does not mean that there are no consequences for our actions. Proverbs 19.5 says, A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who breathes out lies will not escape. Lying comes with consequences. The most natural and obvious one is that it breaks trust with those we are in a relationship with. It is hard and often heartbreaking work when we must repair the bridges that get burned when we choose to deceive the people around us. None of the brokenness we all must work through in our lives is too great for God to repair. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you have struggled with telling the truth or are navigating a situation where trust has been broken, we have the hope of God's miraculous restorative power to lean on. God is faithful to make a straight path for us when we trust in Him. Proverbs 3, 5-6 through 6. Surrender your thinking, relationships, and worldview to the Lord. Allow Him to bring freedom from deceit through the gentle power of the Holy Spirit at work in your life. God's Word boldly proclaims that the truth will set us free. John 8, 31-32 This is a promise you can cling to with confidence.
Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.